Just ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Live. King Gamer here. This is your match reaction. Real Madrid 2, Villarreal nil. Two goals for Real Madrid. Valverde and Vini Jr. has sealed the deal. This is why Madrid is just ruthless. I mean, they are just ruthless. This, I mean, they haven't created a lot of chance in this game, but with two or three shots on goal, they score two goals. That's how efficient Real Madrid is. What a game, what a game. But look, Vinny Jr. is your man of the match. Make sure you smash a like because I thought he was outstanding today. He was outstanding. And that second goal from Vinny Jr. was just incredible. Incredible strike uh, from Vinny Jr. today. And throughout the whole game, I mean, he was just dropping defenders left and right. So he was outstanding today. Uh, Valverde did get the first goal in this match. And of course, that was also a stunner. But this time it was a deflection. There was a slight deflection, but Valverde, you know what? He's not going to care. He's not going to care. Two goals, 2-0, two good night. That's it. I mean, Villarreal, you expect it was going to be a competitive match. They were second or third in the prim uh, in the Liga table. But we didn't see that. We didn't actually see that. We we didn't actually see that. It was a, it was a bad performance from them. I mean, they were just defending, defending. They had some of the ball, but they didn't really create a chance. They didn't really threaten Real Madrid. Madrid was just, I, I felt like Madrid was really comfortable throughout the whole game. And it was a, 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 a deserved win, a deserved win. But take a look at this now. This one looks like the La Liga table. Uh, Barcelona still up top with eight uh, games played, 21 points. Madrid, uh, 21 points, just one today, but they played nine games. So Barcelona would be playing tomorrow. They win their match, they're gonna extend that uh, to three points. But look, this is what I was speaking about. Villarreal is third. They are third, so you expect a competitive match, but it wasn't. It wasn't a competitive match. I thought it was a, a solid win and an easy win uh, for Real Madrid. They didn't even have to get into the second gear of Madrid here today. They just, they were, I would say like six or seven out of 10 performance for Real Madrid has gotten the job done today. That's how easy it was. That's how easy it was. Uh, at the end, of course, there was some bad, bad stuff that happened in this game. Carvajal, it looks like he broke his knee or something wrong with his knee. I don't know exactly. We're going to hear back uh, from Carlo Ancelotti from the press conference, but there is potential uh, big injury uh, uh, that happened to Carvajal at the end of the match. It just wasn't good. It wasn't good. I did not like the fact that that happened to Carvajal. But look, at the end of the day, I think all in all, I feel I feel happy. There's three points in the back, three points in the back. Uh, next game now for Real Madrid is going to be against Celta Vigo. We have the international break coming up. And after that, uh, uh, of course, they're going to be playing Celta Vigo away from home. But yeah, guys, that is it. Let me know your thoughts about this game. How do you feel about this game? How do you feel about the performance from everybody? I thought Kylian Mbappe today again. Not sure. I don't know if Carlo Ancelotti pushed him or rushed him into getting into the game because he just didn't look right. He did not look right. There were a lot of complaints about Kylian Mbappe not pressing, not working hard for the team, especially when he loses possession. He doesn't track back. He's one of the lowest uh, pressers, uh, 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 the lowest striker that, that actually does press in La Liga. Even Lewandowski is above him. Yago Aspas, all these other strikers, Vini, Rodrigo, all of them are above him. He doesn't press much, and that is something to be concerned about. And there was a clip that was released uh, from Luis Enrique when he was telling Kylian Mbappe, I know you like Michael Jordan and you want to be like him, but you need to defend. You need to defend. And that was a message that was sent out. I'm pretty sure Carlo Ancelotti is telling him to do exactly the same thing. Yes, you could be good with the ball, you could be wonderful, but you need to be working hard for the team. These days now, everybody has to press, everybody has to run. You understand? It's not something where you can just relax up front. You just can't do that. But yeah, guys, that is it. Uh, let me know in the comment sections. Like I said, let me know in the comment section your thoughts about everybody. Uh, the one thing I didn't mention is Bellingham again, another average performance from Bellingham today. I didn't think he was outstanding. I didn't think he was creating loads of chance. Defensively, he was okay, but offensively, he didn't do anything. He didn't make things happen. I mean, you, you're you wearing number five. You're wearing Zinedine Zidane's shirt. 
you should be creating chances for the forwards. And he wasn't doing that. It's not just today. Consistently, that's what he's, he has been. Like, since Christmas, I think he's been really bad. He's been really, really bad. So he needs to get going. He needs to get going. He's playing a lot of games. I know he was injured, but he needs to get going. He needs to get going. Uh, defensively, I thought Madrid was, was good. Looking at the lineup there, look at Modric. Decent performance as well. Got taken off in the second half. But all in all, I would say, okay performance from uh, from everyone. From everyone. Uh, Lunen, the goalkeeper, didn't really have to do anything today. Didn't really have to do anything today because there was no threats whatsoever from uh, Villarreal. But yeah, guys, let me ask you the question and we're going to wrap up the video. Okay, so on the Sofa Score app, okay, whoever gets this is going to get the points. That's why we've been doing it all along. So on the Sofa Score app, who is the highest rated player for Real Madrid? You guys let me know in the comment section. So the first 10 people that comments that will get 10 points. Be sure, be sure to comment on the, on the video and let me know who was the highest rated player or, uh, for Real Madrid. But yeah, guys, that is it. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we do have a big game. Manchester United against Aston Villa. Be sure to join us uh, for that and make sure you check that out. But yeah, look, that is it, people. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.